Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. Graduation. Took me back, man. The graduation yeah. review, man. Notes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, graduation is the third album from Kanye Omari West. You know, this uh looked like it was like a a journey. It was part of a trill well, it was supposed to be like four parts. Yeah. But his mom passed and he deaded the fourth part. Uh yeah. good ass good job. Good ass job. Yeah. That would have been dope. Man, it it would have been. I, 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 I can tell. If yeah. you ask me, this is when Kanye started getting, like, he had just, like, you know, the roller coaster when you get to the top right before you fucking go down the drop. This was that point for <laughs> Kanye West. This is uh, considered his dash into pop music. He sampled more of a wide range of samples as opposed to just soulful samples. Yep. And this is the album that pretty much launched Kanye from a, a rap superstar into a pop superstar. How do we feel about graduation from Kanye West? I'll go first. Um, I thought this was classic. I gave it a 96. Um, the only thing I dislike, or not even dislike, the less thing, the, the, the track I least like on this album is Stronger. And, um, and, it's a, and it's still a good song. It's just probably the weakest track on here but he'd probably still. be upset if he heard you say that because you know he mixed the song 75 times yeah man yeah. he had a lot of work on that damn song yeah i mean he went in it's still a good song but it's, it's okay we can keep it real yeah it's okay yeah it's not better than um it's not better it's not better than i wonder it's not better than can't tell me nothing it's I still not better think it's than a fucking great song i'm just gonna put that it, out it's not there. better than everything i am it's not better than Homecoming. You know but I'm for him to like mix a song with Daft Punk on that type of level and make it still sound like his, I thought that's why it was great. Yeah, I mean, uh, on yeah. a production level, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a genius on a production yeah. level. But um, this album was also, I think, the one that it was Yeezy versus Curtis. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think this kind of gave, uh, by, 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 by Ye winning this kind of battle, because... Uh, 50's album didn't keep up with him I think yeah I think his numbers were more than 50 I don't and know and not the only that was. Uh, Ye's music was I think Ye made better music like 50 didn't show no progression yeah um it kind of gave light to the backpackers it kind of opened it came more light to the backpackers around that time um Good Morning was a great way to start the album Champion was fire the production flow on it I won those fire, the vibe, mood, it sounds amazing. Good Life featuring T-Pain was another dope produced track. Uh, Can't Tell Me Nothing was fire. Barry Bonds, uh, shout out to him and Wayne, they killed that. Um, Man, I miss this Kanye. Yeah. That, that, that's what I got after listening to all of this. I, I really miss this guy. Yeah. Well, this, this level of music. I go, I go next, man. All right. Hey, uh, Kanye West, man, graduation. Album review. <sighs> Barry Bonds is dope. Lil Wayne, Can't Tell Me Nothing. It's one of my favorite songs from Kanye West. I love Big Brother. I like Flashing Lights. I like uh, Drunken Hot Girls. A lot yeah. of people don't even like that I like song, that song, But too. I like it. I wonder. Great fucking idea. Completely wrong execution. I couldn't stand it. And to this day, it still bothers me. I hate that flow. Ah, Ben, Wade team. Uh, it, yeah, that was my only I don't not. fuck with it until he gets to, until do you gets even it. know what the exactly. issue is? Yeah. And I was yeah. like, you could have did that the whole song oh, and it yeah. would have been dope. Yeah. Yeah. So according to that, I mean, the beat is amazing. Right. The production, Joe, John Bryan, Mike Dean, him, and he got Timberland to come in and do some drums here and there. He brought the whole fucking hip hop industry in to help him with this album. <laughs> the production was crazy. Uh, Lil Wayne has the only feature on Barry Bonds. It's fucking ridiculous. Can't tell me nothing. Uh, DJ Tump did his thing on that and Big Brother, if y'all don't know. Uh, but DJ Tump said that it was a song he did for Jeezy. Jeezy didn't want to keep it. He played it for Kanye. Kanye said, keep the fucking ad-libs in there. I want to rap over it. Jeezy said, fine. Dope fucking song. But honestly, man, I, I after looking at it, I just don't feel like it's a classic, man. If you disagree, tell <laughs> us in the comments. I gave it a 92, an A minus. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> and then after this, it's pretty much an up and down roller coaster for Kanye. After this, the only high point was uh, the Cool Summer, and that was because everybody else was on it. 
and then dark. my dark twisted fantasy because yeah. jesus fucking sucks <laughs> if you disagree let us know in the comments um heartbreak came before this after after because his mom passed yeah, our and break was after yeah our, our break was pretty good it, is it better than this well it's on a different it's on a different path so this is actually still rap music yeah. this is still rap music you know what i'm saying yeah. uh, it's still not better than this and dog dog <laughs> twist of fantasy is is might be better than this arguably right you can well, argue that i'm with dame man I'm, I'm i gave it a 93 i thought it was amazing man i mean my favorite albums out of kanye west would have to be late registration um, I mean, I know College Dropout is a classic to me, but Late Registration, I love that album. So arguably, so, he got four. So coming coming from Late Registration to this, I was like, okay, this is cool, but it wasn't really like what I wanted, but I still enjoyed it a lot. Um, Stronger, man, I, I love that song. I mean, I get what y'all saying. It's not amazing, nothing different, nothing like that. Oh, I, I play it. Yeah. I didn't skip it. But I just, I just like, especially, I love the music video. I love all the different themes it had and like, I hated all the inspirations. Glasses. Huh? I hated those glasses. <laughs> yeah, those glasses. Oh, with the, the, with, the shades. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forget all about them. But yeah, man, Um, you know, going back, listening to this, it was refreshing, man. You know, just to hear Kanye rapping on a level like this and the production like this. Um, I forgot how much I love flashing lights, man. I ain't heard that in a minute. Right. Um, you, you need Dwelle for that song for yeah. it to be dope, though. And, you take um, Dwelle off this song, it's not the same song. It's man. not. It's not. But yeah, um, every I, I actually don't like Drunk and Hot Girls. I mean... I, I like the, it was I so, like I, I like it because it's so different. I like the later half of the song rather than the beginning for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's just something that annoys me about it. But I still like it. But I just don't love it. You like most Def's little part in there? Yeah, I do. I like his part a lot. But um, I wanted to talk to y'all about Big Brother, man. How do y'all feel listening to Big Brother again after all this stuff and happened with Jay and Kanye? And I feel like, like it still applies. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I, it was just kind of you know weird listening to it after all this stuff that didn't hey, happen. At least he got him on Run the Town. Yeah, he got Jay on Run the Town. He ain't get him on the Diamonds. Yeah, but he got him on uh, Run the Town right. on, on the Blackout on Blueprint Three. Right. Yeah, I, I thought it was kind of cool, kind of listening to that and just trying to you know see where his head is now than where it was there. But yeah, but yeah, it's an amazing album. You know, it, it could just be frustrating when you just can't get out that. A shadow. Yeah, and I'm saying like even 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 later on, years later, yes, it still looked that that way. Like you're still a little brother. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I, I do I do miss this Kanye a lot. Like when you hear like you know and everything I am Kanye passed Kanye uh, common pass on this beat. I made it to a jam. Yeah, that was like super braggadocious. Not about my dick every ten bars. Kanye was <laughs> right, right. You right. know, let's keep it real, man. Yeah. Yo, what's up, man? It's your man, Ambitious Ace of the Report Card. Every Sunday, we're going to have new reviews for you, as well as random drops throughout the weeks of your favorite TV shows and your favorite films. So stay tuned and, you know, comment, like, subscribe, share, and don't be afraid to talk to us, man. Get at us. Peace.